Chairman's Report 2010-2011. Traditionally, Kashyyyk is holding its conference in July. This year, we have three months late, and the question is why. This is because before the general elections would have been held earlier. Now, up to now, we have no idea as to when they will be called, but we in Kashyyyk are ready. Well, the longer they remain in government, the deeper will our country fall into chaos. Today, it is all about Kashyyyk East, our constituency, and we are proud to celebrate the 23rd Annual Constituency Conference with the theme, Stay with Labour for Good Government. My brothers and my sisters, Kashyyyk East is staying with Labour for Good Government. And we, the constituents, must keep it so. As we speak, we are no more than four months away from the general elections. Jump high, jump low, they can't stop time. The time is master, and the time is the decider. Will the bell be rang this year or next year? We in Kashyyyk are ready, and we have left no stone until. And we are staying with labor for good government. No. 
about paying custom taxes, stealing from the country, selling on truths, or shall I say, lying to the people of this country time and time again with something as simple as revoking a visa? How do we tell this to our children? When we are in this country, supporting people who do the very same thing. These are the values that we were raised on. These are the values that we seek to teach our children at home, at school, and in their community clubs, and at churches too. But what happens? At the highest level, we see these values being trampled upon. Parents and guardians, teachers, youth leaders, preachers, sons and daughters of sweet St. Lucia, I say to you, no amount of money in your hand or in your t-shirt can teach your child these very important values. Oh, 
undermine the will of the people and the duly elected representatives. And we in Tashrif East, we understand that. We have understood that from 2007. Look at the state of the Bokash Road. Look at the state of the Enchumar Road. Bagatella has been closed for over one year. Look at the state of the roads in Tashrif East. Look at the promises that they have made to us. All because they want us to suffer because we voted labor. But I said to them that the people of Castries East have suffered for four and a half years yes. and we can endure another four weeks of four months. Okay. The people of Castries East will stand full. We will stand full because we understand better governments. We understand what it is to have total quality representations. And regardless of whatever they try, Regardless of whatever they say, regardless of whatever they promise, the people of Tashis East will not be fooled. They have stood firmly behind me and behind the Central Labour Party. And for this, I am forever grateful. I'm part of you. I live with you. When the rain falls on my house, it falls on yours. And when they suffer, and when they let us suffer, for lack of water or electricity, I suffer too. I'm bonded forever to you. You know me, I know you. We have worked hand in hand since 1997. And once again, we are ready to secure better days for this country and return the solution of your party to government. This election, my sisters and my brothers, is a turning point with great consequences for every solution. The difference between the two political parties are profound. The UWB has spent the entire term in office, four and a half years, surviving. The entire term in office, surviving. And if you ask somebody, what has the government done for you, the government will say they have survived. But they say this afternoon. Our government will create that environment for these young people to be able to showcase their talent. We will assist them so that they can make themselves proud and they can make Tenusha proud. That is what we will stand for, my brothers and sisters. We will develop a group of young entrepreneurs, young people with business ideas, young people who want to work for themselves. We will increase the educational opportunities for them. We will ensure that they can live their dreams with dignity and pride, not by having to beg or having to sell their bodies to some worthless politician. My brothers and sisters, if I was in government, if the other party was in government, I am sure, I am sure that the road in Bocage after Reggie Thomas would have already been prepared. I agree. Yes. And I'm also sure that just down the road in Rafin Shabon, in the left party of the government, that would have been prepared. Yes. I'm sure about that. That is what I would do after Reggie Thomas if I was in my brothers. That's what I'm about. So my brothers and sisters, I don't ask for Bagatel. Don't ask for Bagatel. You know why they treat you like that? You know why they treat you like that? They treat you like that because they say you're from the ghetto. You're from the ghetto? And they can buy your vote easy before you get you. That's what they say. But this time, we want to show them that we're not from the ghetto. And even though we're from the ghetto, we are proud ghetto people. And we will keep this illusion of passing to our African And as they say, my brothers and sisters, as they say, time, time. And they can run, they can jump, they can move, but they can't hide. Regardless of what they do, they must call the general election. And when they talk about they won 14 seats, even 14 seats, they call the election. So you have 14 seats, what are you waiting for? You have 14 seats for the election. We will, when we get to government for that we will continue the work we have started in terms of infrastructure. And when they tell you, when they tell you what labor did in that soon 
Sakas Rabi getting a hundred million. Philip here told you, we can get a hundred million from the dear roads wall. Go back to that airport that Robert Lewis spoke about a while ago. You know, I can't understand this thing about this airport at all. We have always said we are against any rehabilitation of any airport. You know. We have said so in. But something stinks about that airport. Ralph Gonzalez is building a new airport in Simmons. Ralph Gonzalez has knocked down mountains in Simmons. He was there last week. He told me his terminal building will cost St. Vincent 35 million US dollars. How do you explain that Gonzalez is building an airport terminal for 35 million dollars, a new airport building? That's not the cost of his entire airport, but the terminal building. And ours costing 140 million US? I just came up on the TV as I told you. And the People's Republic of China is about to build a new terminal for the Antigua government. And you know the price tag? 45 million US dollars. And Antigua attracts, of course, that solution. You want to ask me how we will do? How we will get 100 million dollars? We just have to tap and take a hundred million dollars from that airport project. What are you talking about? <laughs> but we have said before that we are not afraid to tell you that of that hundred million we will have to borrow some of it. Because we have to pull this country out of the crisis that is it. We have to get our people back to work. And that is why we say that our first priority must be jobs, jobs, jobs. You think that situation is going to get any better unless you have a government to change direction? Look at the tourism industry. What is happening in the hotel sector today? Serious trouble is now in the hands of receivers. Lending is in trouble. In serious trouble. Alvin Morgan Bale was over the few years ago. Today it is up for sale because it is losing money. And don't look surprised. You see, they will announce the sale. Elsewhere, but they won't tell you here. It was in the Barbados papers that Alvin Morgan made for sale. I don't know the workers know that. <laughs> but you know, you know they say that Alan Shastney is a credible minister. Oh, yeah. 